Secret Wars. Marvel supervillains are coming. Secret Wars. Can the Marvel superheroes stop them? Villains and superheroes figures, each sold separately. Here, Doctor Doom and the Doom Platoon. Magneto, Doctor Octopus. There, Captain America and the Champions of Freedom. Spider-Man and Wolverine. Secret Wars. The secret's out. Doctor Doom and Spider-Man. The Marvel Secret Wars collection. Other figures, each sold separately. From Mattel. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. This is another edition of Top Ten Toys. And this week, as you can see, we are covering Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars. I absolutely loved this toy line when I was a kid. This was definitely one of my favorites. I had just about every one of these figures, and I, I even had extras. I tried to paint some to make some other heroes that they didn't actually make for the line. I tried a number of things, giving them you know, other toy lines, weapons and capes and whatever I had. This was one of the go-tos of my youth. So Kenner, not Kenner, Mattel's Secret Wars are uh, definitely one of the top toys for me growing up. I wish I still had these figures, but tons and tons of great stuff from the uh, Tower of Doom, which was one of the coolest bases that I remember uh, being able to play with. It's harking back to Castle Grayskull a bit, but, you know, all teched out and uh, and whatnot with the Top Gunner and all that fun stuff. Great, great, great toys. I can't praise them enough. Um, and as you know, these all grew out of that Marvel Superhero Secret Wars miniseries. And uh, that's something that you know a lot of people uh, look back on and love. I mean, it was just you know, a great, great Marvel event. It uh, brought all your heroes together. It was, it was just a lot of fun. And there's a reason why that's something that, you know, like the Russos have talked about that they would love to do if they ever came back to... Uh, do a Marvel Universe movie, and hey, I'm pretty sure they were talking about this Secret Wars and not the newer version, but hey, who knows? Maybe they meld the two together. But that said, what what is the thing that really sticks out about Secret Wars that makes everybody think of? It's really, you know, Spider-Man, Black Suit Spider-Man, which, again, eventually gives us Venom. I mean, that that's it. Like, if there's one thing you can say that came out of this event, it's basically Venom and uh, Spider-Man's Black Suit. It is just an iconic, it's an iconic comic, it's an iconic cover, it's an iconic moment in the Marvel Universe. It is, I mean, look at where Marvel's at now, thanks to just this one little invention, because they wanted to give Spidey a new outfit. I mean, really, that's all it was. But with that said, uh, these toys, they were a lot of fun. They they had to go with this weird little gimmick of the little uh, hologram shields that really didn't serve much of a purpose other than giving them a little accessory you know, to have. So that's something that really is kind of tough to come by if you're looking for these things loose or having those shields and, you know, the inserts that would go in them to have something complete. So I'm not going to get in really to the loose figures because it's just, it's, there's too much. There's too much variance uh, in prices and what you can you know, get for what you have and what pieces you don't. So I'm just basically sticking mostly with the, uh, you know, the new and packaged stuff. So with that said, I mean, look at this line. This is a great lineup. Just an absolutely great lineup of figures. They they made some great choices to do that they decided to make. And, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about it. So let's uh, quit dilly-dallying and just get right into this list. All right, so for our first one, our number 10 is, as I noted, it's that black suit Spidey. Uh, you would think that this might be higher on the list, but no, here it is. It's, it's here at number 10. It is a great, great figure. But, you know, it just comes up a little bit short in comparison to some of the other guys when you're talking about prices of these figures. I mean, you know, the Black Suit Spidey, it's not cheap, mind you. And we're talking about, again, sealed price, you know, sealed packages, new in, new in box, new in package, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is averaging about 132 bucks. So, and that was 12 sales on the Black Suit Spidey. So, it is not a slouch in any way. And that's kind of level set in what we're talking about here. So, our number 10 is already at 132 bucks, you know, in the package. And uh, you can see, this is just a great little figure. It, it's a perfect, you know, representation of them, really. I mean, there wasn't a lot of articulation here. I mean, they didn't bend at the knees or the elbows. But uh, for what they did have, the molds were very good. And uh, they stood when you needed them to stand. Uh, I mean, they eventually got loose if you, you know, played with them a little bit too much and made things a little bit difficult. But outside of that, you know, the hands were built well to uh, kind of bounce back and hold the weapons and shields and whatever you wanted to put in their hands. They, they kind of held, and uh, they didn't get warped too too much. Uh, unlike some of the more uh, the harder plastic toys, you can sometimes snap like thumbs and things like that off. Like GI Joes, you you constantly would be snapping thumbs off, trying to 
you know, fit uh, larger weapons and things like that in their hands. But these guys, it was a little more pliable, so it was a little easier to uh, manipulate and get, you know, get them to do what you wanted them to do. So, again, Black Suit Spidey is our number 10, which is going to take us to number 9. And number 9, we're looking here at Falcon. And uh, this is a pretty cool figure. I mean, you got the wings going. He, he got the Red Bird attached, even though he's brown, but, you know, he's named Red Bird. But he's coming in at number nine because this is averaging about 164 bucks or so. Again, seven sales on this one. So it uh, it sells. You know, there's uh, plenty of options out there. Uh, none of these are super, super hard to find. I mean, they're they're hard to find cheap if you want them in great shape or in uh, in package. But uh they, they, they're out there. They're, they're not impossible to find. This was a popular toy line, uh, you know, for a while there. So there's plenty, you know, plenty of options. But this Falcon was a really cool character. Like I said, you had the wings. So this was something different outside the norms of the other figures, which were basically, you know, just the body mold. And, and that was really it. So him having the wings was a nice little extra little additive that a lot of other figures didn't have, you know, for the time. And uh, speaking of little uh, add-ons, our uh, next one is uh, Wolverine who's coming in at number eight. And this Wolverine is the Black Clawed version, which I believe was the second release and actually is a little bit harder to find, but prices have kind of proved out that these have kind of evened out over the years. The Black Clawed one used to be a lot more expensive, but uh, these days it's it's pretty much one for one uh, as far as pricing goes. I mean, I got the average here about 180 bucks for uh, you know the Black Clawed uh, Wolverine and that's over you know three sales. So it's not as hard to find or it's not the uh, premium that you would get you know, in years past. And uh, again, perfect, perfect representation of Wolverine. And those claws were really cool. I used to use those claws because they just kind of snap on at the wrist. You can give them to any of your other toy toy figures. You know, you can throw them at a G.I. Joe if you really wanted to. Yeah, it's kind of you know, long and large for them, but hey, it still worked. But really great mold, really nice figure. The and the Black Claws themselves, you can see, even though the Black Clawed, Clawed Wolverine may have come in here at number eight, the one claw by itself, just sold loose, is 35 bucks. 35 bucks for just one of the two claws. So that uh, goes to show that, you know, sometimes these little extra weapons and accessories can be quite valuable if you can find them. Even if you have to, uh, you know, because people are trying to complete their, uh, their set, they're trying to complete their figure, trying to make their Wolverine whole. And they may only have one claw, so they need yours. So if you can find that extra one. So coming in right after that, then, as we can see, at number seven is the silver clawed version, which I believe was the first version uh, that came out in, uh, you know, the first run of the series. And uh, this is coming in a little bit higher because this is averaging about 195 bucks. So the black claw was averaging 180. This is averaging 195, which is I had to put it at number seven. And that was, uh, you know, over five sales. And both of these, this is like a 20 to $65 loose figure if you don't have it, it's, you know. And if you have the claws, it definitely helps. But as I noted before, the black claw sold for 35 bucks loose on its own, but a silver claw single on its own sold for only 25. So you can see again, that black claw is a little bit of a premium, you know, on its own, but still this tiny little piece of plastic, 25 bucks or 35 bucks. If you can find just this tiny little weapon in a box of junk, but that's yours or, you know, at a you know junk sale, yard sale, whatever you want to call it, uh, something to look out for. So just keep that in mind. So we're not going to hold this up for too much longer. And we're going to go to number six, which after we had the black suit Spider-Man, we got to go with the original, the OG blue and red original Spider-Man, which is coming in here at number six. And this is averaging 221 bucks, not cheap at all. And there were eight sales for this one. Uh, but 221 is uh, definitely uh, definitely one that's a, uh, you know, not that easy to find these days. And you can see this is more, you know, more sought after than the black suit. So even though the black suit Spidey was the, uh, you know, the moment out of this series and this toy line, the original Spidey is the one that uh, is selling for a bit more. Again, great mold, perfect representation of them. Uh, I remember, you know, this is just a great look for Spidey and there aren't a lot of, uh, you know, figures that really do him justice. And this was one of them that I got to uh, admit that I still look back on as one of the best, uh, best Spidey toys for him. So, with that, let's look at what we've got going on in our top five. And for our top five, we're going to go with one of the later runs. I think this came in the third series uh, and the last series for uh, Secret Wars, and this was a Hobgoblin. You can see they got a little bit more ambitious with this, with the head mold, and he's got a cape, and he's got a glider. A lot of extras in this one. 
And this is coming in at number five at 226 bucks on average. Uh, I found about six sales. This is a 40 to $60 loose figure. So, you know, Hobgoblin is one that I'm not positive. I don't remember having this one. So this might've been one that slipped past my, uh, slipped past my collection. But like I said, this was in the final series, you know, the third run, which I think they started making a little bit less. So these are definitely a little bit harder to find. So that is why they're getting near the top of our list and the pricier figures, because these weren't as plentiful as uh, the figures before. But you can still see, I mean, the body molds themselves were mostly the same. I mean, it looks like, you know, basically it looks like a Captain America repainted and then you give them a new head mold. And uh, that's really what you could do back then with a lot of these toys. And it was fine. It was definitely fine, like good enough for me. But that's why Hobgoblin's coming in at number five, which will take us to our number four, which is a little bit of a cheat because this is a three pack, but hey, it is what it is. This three pack gift hero set is averaging about 273 bucks. And, uh, you know, there's also a villain set too that uh, sells for about 112, so it didn't quite make the list. But this three pack of heroes where you get Daredevil, you get the black suit Spidey, and you get Cap, you yeah. know. It's uh, not, you know, not too easy to find. Uh, 273 bucks on average. I think there was a high sale of like 350 on this as well. But uh, still pretty cool. You know, get three for one in this thing. And if you can find this in the box, I mean, again, not an easy ask to find things like this. Uh, gift sets. But that is our number four, which is going to roll us into our top three. And uh, I will say that our top three uh, don't come from around here. So I did not have any of these because these weren't released uh, in the U.S. These, I believe, are the European releases uh, of these figures. So they're definitely, definitely harder to find. And that is why they are priced yeah, accordingly. It's not a purse. It's European. <laughs> so our first of these foreign releases is Constrictor coming in at number three. Another cool villain. They really loved using the purple. I'm, I'm a fan of purple. I know I've mentioned that before. But with the uh, purple villains of Kang and Zemo, and I got Constrictor here, uh, they weren't shy about uh, using that purple paint for the bad guys. Uh, so Constrictor is our number three, coming in at about a 292, you know, average. You know, so just under 300 bucks for this guy, and it's still 137 dollars loose uh, thereabouts. So loose in the package. This these ones are tough because, like I said, they weren't re released in the U.S., so not easy easy things to find. Really only collectors uh, have these guys, which also takes us to number two, which is Electro. Uh, Electro, again, released overseas, $365 average on this one. And this is about 130 bucks loose. And uh, that 365 was based on five sales. So there are figures out there. I mean, five sales is uh, not too bad for something that's generally pretty hard to find. Uh, you can see it's just got a nice cool little paint job and that head mold is definitely unique in that you got the cool Electro, uh, you know, things going on. It, it's not like the rest. So Electro comes in at number two, which will leave us with our final and top pick. And at number one, Iceman. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. Iceman, he doesn't have a lot going on. I mean, really, when you look at, like, the makeup of him, he's just a pretty, you know, sleek looking figure. I mean, it's Iceman. I mean, yeah, Spider-Man and his amazing friends was a great cartoon. I loved it growing up too, but, and I would have loved to have this figure, but you can see this is a pretty plain figure and they just remolded, you know, just basically one of the other figures. He's even looks like he has, you know, Cap's little pirate boot things going on. Like Iceman didn't have that going on with his legs. Why didn't they just give him the Spidey body mold? I don't know. Maybe they just needed to add a little something so he wasn't just a plain, you know, white figure that, would actually probably be really good if you were into that kind of a uh, repainting thing because you know it's a blank slate. But Iceman, five hundred and forty-five bucks for uh, averaging on this one, and there were four sales on uh, on this guy. It's about one hundred twenty bucks loose too, so again, still not cheap loose. But Iceman and the packages are top dog at about five hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, definitely, definitely not a cheap piece. So. That's our top 10 for the Kenner Super... I keep saying Kenner. It's not Kenner Superpowers. It's Mattel. <laughs> Mattel Secret Wars. Uh, the toy lines came around the same time. I kind of grouped them together in my head. Packaging coloring is even the same with the blue, the, you know, the kind of powder blue, light blue background. So it, it's easy to confuse them sometimes. So if you just want to hang around for a few more minutes and you're enjoying this list, we can uh, roll into a few honorable mentions that I got here just to throw in at the end.
So for the honorable mentions, you notice that I basically only covered the figures. I mean, outside of that three pack, we were looking at solo uh, solo figures. So I figured for the honorable mentions, we'll look at some of the vehicles and uh, you know bases and that type of stuff. A little extra, the extra things because it's kind of hard to work them in um, to the you know the top ten sometimes because of you know price differentials and just the lack of a lot of sales. But that being said, our first honorable mention is the Doom Roller, which. It's a pretty cool toy. I mean, it reminds me a lot now of what they did for uh, General Grievous's, uh, you know, cycle. But I didn't realize that they, you know, Grievous took this from Doom's Roller here. But this is, you know, about sixty-two bucks or so. It's still kind of cool little figure. You know, I mean, little little vehicle. You can put your figure inside and just, you know, go right at it down the floor. So the Doom Roller is our first honorable mention, which will take us to this weird gun sh gunner ship, you know, kind of base. Outpost, I don't know what you want to call it, but the Freedom Fighter is our next honorable mention here. And uh, this one is about, yeah, a little over 80 bucks for this in the box. As you can see, they got Cap and Spidey. They're just, it's basically, they're sitting in turrets. It looks like a helicopter landing pad with some turrets. And uh, that landing pad is kind of cool and it's useful considering there are, in our next honorable mentions, the copters. Uh, I went with the Doom Chopper here for uh, for the pick because there, Captain America had a copter as well. But the Doom one sold for a bit more, so I decided to go with Doom's chopper here, and that's about 161 bucks in box for Doom's chopper. Chopper. I mean, it looks like a you know, like a mash style GI Joe Army you know type chopper. But hey, you, you slap some tech looking thing stickers on the outside, all of a sudden it's a Doom chopper. Still pretty cool, definitely pretty cool. Which will take us on to our next honorable mention, which is what I mentioned kind of at the beginning, is that Tower of Doom. Great, great base. Definitely a great base. And yes, this is only averaging about 130 bucks, which is cheaper than the chopper, but it's just awesome. And to get a complete, you know, complete set with a box is, is still a tough task, but it's still really cool and something I would love to uh, pick up once again. Uh, and 12 sales. So there's a lot of these out there. So this Do Tower of Doom was not uh you know hard to find a, a item from back in the day so there's lots of these out there because it was awesome and apparently it sold very well so moving on from that i just got a couple more uh, a couple more just kind of throw at you and uh, another thing that i found interesting there was only one sale and it was for 360 bucks and that was this sears mailing it was a uh, you know these mailers aren't uh aren't something that uh last like uh through the history because maybe you look here it's basically got the box that got mailed to you and it had a couple of the figures just in plastic baggies in this case this mailer had spidey and doc ock you know packaged together just in little plastic bags and you know tucked in this little white box that uh, they would mail off to you and uh yeah 360 bucks so this sears you know two pack was uh again something that's not too easy to find these days which is Probably the most the reason why 360 bucks was the cost on this one bid uh, So great. This was a couple of months ago, but still I couldn't find any more up. So this is not uh, Something that's out there a lot. So one of those weird little things and Speaking of weird little things my last little honorable mention here is this target game this uh, flip action It's a little, you know gun blaster almost like you're at a carnival shoot down the targets You know little uh, suction cup, you know gun game Take out all the little people, you get to waltz off with the cuddly monkey. And 400 bucks on this thing, $399, one sale. So this is not something that, you know, it's easy to find, especially in the box. I mean, this is something a kid would open and want to play with. Uh, like a figure, you can still appreciate and look at it like as a little statue in the package. But something like this, you, you got to open this thing up and put those little suction cup bullets in and just, you know, fire away. So... That's it. That's that's our list. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I loved going back, taking that trip down memory lane, you know, getting all nostalgic, looking at the old toys. And uh, as I mentioned before, these uh, Secret Wars figures were some of my favorites. So uh, hope you, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series of uh, videos that I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. Uh, I know I shifted here to Marvel because I've stepped off of doing Marvel on my Dollar Bin video. So I felt I had to touch Marvel in some way. So I went back to the toys. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see if you guys got any suggestions what you'd like to see put them down in the comments And I will take it in consideration. I got a long list of toys I want to cover, but I'm not sure what I'd like to do next So, you know shout it out Let me know what you guys want to see what you guys like what you don't like Please like and subscribe to my channel Tales from the flip side channel and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. I mean they're toys after all so thanks again